hello and thank you for tuning in to Embracing Budgets. My name is Rochelle and in today's video, yes it is, here it is guys. We are halfway through the year. We are starting out July with a new budget. So let's go. Okay, so I have, of course, my Erin Condren and uh, the Clever Girl Finance um, budget book right here, a budget planner right here. I am loving this planner. I think someone asked um, in my uh, comment section, um, and I'm sorry, guys, I am horrible with uh, my comment section. I'm not even going to lie. I'm horrible with replying to you guys' comments. I am so sorry, but I will get better, okay? But someone did ask how I was liking this planner, and I can honestly say I like it. The only one thing, only one thing that I don't like about this planner is this. This right here. Because the Erin Condren, um, petite budget planner that I had last year it was undated. Uh, this one is undated too. That, you know, that doesn't matter. But uh, the one that I, uh, the one thing I liked about the petite budget planner that it was in a booklet and it did not have the spiral right here in the center. And the spiral really gets in the way from when I'm writing on this side uh, with the pen. It's just like I have to, usually I will be right here in that crease with that petite budget planner, but that's just the only one thing that I don't like about this planner. Outside of that, I think it has all the categories that I need. Some of them that I really and truly don't use, like the shopping and the personal care, because I'm not a shopper like that, and my shopping is usually very impulsive. Um, so, and my personal care um, items, that's also very impulsive. I am more of a, of a re active and my personal care as far as like going to get a, a manicure, pedicure, massage, or, or uh, anything like that. I'm more of a, a, a reactive instead of being proactive with um, with that. It's like, okay, I'm feeling stressed. Let's go get our toes done. Okay, I, I feel a kink in my back instead of me being like on the spot every three months, every two months or whatever, me going to go get some things done. So that's usually why I don't use the personal care and the shopping categories over here. Just wanted to let you guys know that, okay? However, let's get into it. Okay, so let's get into... um over here on the basic side, the utilities and the entertainment. My entertainment is the same. It's $46.78 spread across Netflix, Paramount Plus, Patreon, and Apple, okay? <clears throat> and that's my Apple, um, that's my Apple storage, really and truly, um, okay? Then we have, um, the EPB, which is my electric, that's the electric company that I am, I have my electricity with. Um, I don't have that bill just yet. It usually comes I, from what I got last month. It came in around about the 6th or the 7th, right after I uh, did my budget. So, and it was actually, I think I budgeted like 80 bucks for it. And it only came back to being $42.58. So that was amazing. I will say that. So this month I'm going to budget $60 for my electricity. Um, I'm hoping that it's that low again. I mean, I work from home, so I don't see why it wouldn't be a low number again, okay? Um, my cell phone bill, okay? So this will be the last month that I'm paying off my actual cell phone. Um, it was like 40 something dollars a month, but they added an extra fee on top of that. I need to get in contact with Com Comcast and ask them why they're charging me an additional $25. I don't know, but it was like a hundred and... My regular bill, um, it's like 96 and some change. Uh, hold on. Let me check the previous month. I'm sorry, guys. Just like that. I forgot just that quick. It was 96.69. 96.69. They put another $25 on top of that. So 96, 100 and... I think that's like what 131 no 121 
I don't know why. I would have to check my phone again. It, it got sent to me out of the blue. And they were like, yeah, okay, here's your bill. And I was like, okay, why in the world is why why in the world is it this much money? Like, why did it go up so much? And then I took a look at the bill um, online because they don't send it to me in the mail. And it was, it ended up being like an additional $25. And I don't know if that's because I'm paying off my phone or not, but I will check with them. I'll probably end up going to the Comcast office here in Chattanooga in uh, sometime coming up, uh, sometime this week or this weekend. Okay, of course, then we have my Wi-Fi bill, which is, um, I'm seeing is gonna be a consistent amount of $84.64. And I finally got my water bill. My water bill, they actually bill 60 days out, which is pretty interesting, um, but they are just billing me for the month of May here in july and it was a very <clears throat> excuse me it was actually a really low amount itself it was what 24 dollars okay and that amount was 26 56 that's how much it was i thought it was 24 56 but i had to be actually 100 sure okay so with that being said let me just take a quick look 60 dollars approximate for my electricity, because I don't have the final bill yet. Uh, $121.96 for cell phone, $84.64 for uh, Wi-Fi, and $26.56 for, um, for water. That brings it to a total of $293.16. Okay. All right, so not bad. And also this amount for my cell bill, that uh, that should be cut in half come next month. Because like I said, I will no longer be um, paying for my cell phone. It should go down to a minimum at minimum 60 bucks, okay? All right. So, all right. So over here, let's go to over here. I didn't mention it, but I earned $3,412.68 from my last uh, paycheck in May and my first paycheck in April, which was, of course, May 31st and April, I'm assuming in June. Did I say April? Lord. From my last paycheck in June and my first uh, paycheck in um you know what? From these two dates right here. I don't know if y'all can see it. Hopefully y'all can. From May and June. Lord have mercy, okay? That was all that overtime that I was getting. I've been working uh, working like crazy. So there you go, okay? So we have my savings for um, that budget for last month was $240, okay? Um, let's see here. Now, Sephora. For Sephora, um, the minimum due is like $49, but I'm continuously paying it because it was at $1.70. So I'm going to pay $71.60 this month uh, just to round out that number because the balance, if I'm not mistaken, was like $801.60. So I was like, you know what? Let's do $71.60. Um, $71 so that makes sense, okay? Um, Sam's, uh, I did pretty much the same thing with uh, Sam's. Uh, the balance, the minimum due was $53 or $54, and I'm paying $57.20. Uh, uh, when I looked at that, I was like, let's just go ahead and just round it on up. Not by much, but by something, okay? Uh, let's see here. T, no, sorry, Chase. Uh, Chase, I just played, excuse me, I'm sorry. For Chase, I paid $134.33. Uh, that Chase, um, account, that's the larger Chase account. I think if I'm not mistaken, the minimum due was like one, one twenty one. And I just went up to one thirty four thirty three because, like I said, because of the overall balance, balance which is a high amount. Um, Capital One, Capital One, I'm actually paying. I'm actually paying two fifty two and eighteen two and eighteen cent. Crazy enough, usually my Capital One um, minimum due is like two fourteen, but my crazy but i ended up paying it late last month i don't know how in the world that happened but it happened so 
okay like you know we're just gonna have to deal with that late fee i'm pretty sure i probably could have called them and be like you know okay i'll waive this late fee because usually i'm on time with y'all i and with them they don't have like a grace period if you are one day past the due date then you get that late fee. So that's why I don't know why they changed it because it didn't used to be like that. Maybe because I have a um a higher credit limit now. I don't I'm not sure, but maybe that's it. I I have no idea why. Okay, so let's go ahead and calculate this. It's $71.60, $57.20, and $252.18 comes to a total of $515.31. Okay, so then we have a moat debt over here. That's why I changed it from investment. I changed it to moat debt. <laughs> okay, so um, Amex. I charged that Amex card right back up and I am so upset with myself. And I did it because of the move. And chances are I will most definitely be going over how much it costs for me to move Um what I had saved, what my dad helped me with, and all that jazz, so you guys can know how much I spent on this move as a single woman, just me by myself. So I will most definitely um, go over that with you guys, okay? Uh, TJX, TJX minimum due is $27. Chances are I will, um, I think I'll end up paying more, but I'm not sure at the moment because I, I don't I don't know with this particular check because there's some things I'm gonna have to make a decision on and I'll explain that in just a moment, okay? All right, I had Ulta on here, but I I ended up returning the majority of the stuff that I purchased from Ulta because I didn't like it. So that's probably gonna change down. It was $108 with tax. I think it's gonna go down to 50, I think it's gonna go down like $50 but it's not due this month because of how late I purchased it last month. So there you go. Okay. Um, Amazon, Amazon is minimum $29. I'm just going to pay that 29. And then we have, uh, my second chase account. The second chase account is Minimum is $40, so I'm just going to put the $40 right there. But then I did purchase something from Torrid. And, and it was just like a shirt and a um and a dress and a sundress. It was just something that I need to add something else to my wardrobe because it's just hot this summer. And I don't feel like wearing jeans all the time. And I think the majority of what I have is like pants and jeans in my closet. So that's $72.54. Okay. Alrighty, so with that being said, 6240, 27, 72, 54, 29, and 40. That's $230 and 94 cents. But I will say this, there will be no more Torrid come next month. I brought these two items and I'm just gonna go ahead and pay it off, okay? <clears throat> now, of course we have Groceries, gas. Why did I put $80 on gas? I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere and I work from home, so I'm really not going out that much. So I don't know why. Okay, but um, so chances are that's going down by. Okay, so I have groceries, 200, gas, 60, eating out, 60. Personal and miscellaneous each 60. That should be a total of uh, $360, 200, 320, 340, 360. Yeah, $360 that I'm taking out. And of course, that will go inside my cash wallet. Okay, car insurance. I'm still with State Farm and I'm back to full coverage. And this is still is lower than what I was paying in the state of Georgia. Uh, that would be um, $102.30. And I actually got a credit from State Farm um, back in Georgia. <clears throat> uh, they sent me a check for $32. So I'm actually gonna put that in um, here to say that I got money back actually. So there you go. So, mm, 
I probably should put it in the overall, but I'm just going to leave it right, right there. Okay. And then we're going to rent. So here's the thing with my rent, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry. My throat is a little scratchy. Um, with my rent, um, with the specials going on for when I moved in, they said after I've lived in my apartment for a full um, hundred and ups, I know, I'm sorry. After I've lived in my apartment for a full 30 days, then I would get one month rent free. So the rent is actually um, is actually changing. So it's actually going to be $35 this month. So what, and this 35 is I'm paying for trash um, and pest control and also the uh, reporting to the credit bureau that I did pay my rent. And also, so I'm actually saving 1308 minus 35. I'm actually saving my actual rent, which is uh, $1,273. That's my actual rent right there. So the $35 right there, and that is my rent. So let's see if we can get this all calculated so that it all makes sense to see how much I have left over because I am debating because I did in the move charge so much back on my credit cards. I am debating saving that uh, $1,273 versus paying that $1,273 um, to, uh, to uh, credit card debt and charge card debt. So I need to make that decision and I will probably not make it today because usually when I make those decisions, I get so confused that I'd be like, well, I should do this. Well, I should do that. And then in the end, it's like, okay, no, what do you, what do you really want to do? Should we just do this or should we not do this? And it usually takes us a little bit of critical thinking and also sometimes Sometimes just weighing, weighing my odds and looking at my debt and saying, well, if I do this, I can get rid of these two bills or these three bills or, you know, or, or that sort of thing. So I'm really weighing my odds to see what I can do, because like I said, I'm going to go over how much I spent uh, with the move. And like I said, I just I charge some credit cards right back up, even with my dad paying uh, for a. Uh, for the, the bulk part of it, which was the moving part, the actual moving for the truck and his guys that, for, that worked for him, um, they were the ones that moved me in so I didn't have to hire any workers or anything. So yeah, I'm gonna most definitely go over that with you guys, but let's go ahead and see how much we got left over, okay? So total income for the month, 300, should I add? that into that actually you know what i am so total income for the month is actually three thousand four hundred forty four dollars and sixty eight cents that's what me including the refund check uh from state farm so i was just going to add it into add it into the income um uh, pal right there okay Yeah, 34, 44, 68, okay? So what we're gonna do, I'm going to deduct savings, 240. Debt, 515, 31. More debt, 230, 94. $35 for this month's rent. <laughs> $360 for my cash wallet and $102.30 for my car insurance. So that leaves me with, oh wow, 196113. Okay. And crazy enough, I'll I'll do it afterwards. I'll do it afterwards. I was about to do something real quick and I was gonna lose thought. Um, lose thought, right? Uh, train of thought, lose thought. <laughs> I was gonna lose my train of thought. Oh my God, okay. So let's take out the 293.16 for my utilities. And then I'm gonna take out for my entertainment, 
and 78 cent and i have 16 21 19 left over but real quick if i had to pay rent i'm going to take out the 1273 and it still would have left with $348.19. Okay. So that chances are I would have used that money to pay off something or towards something. So this is what I'm going to do. So let me. Put that at 1273. That's 16, 21, 19. Gonna minus off the 3, 4, 4, 4, 68. So it came to a total of 18, 23, 49 for how much it costs uh, this month. So my all of my bills, expensive cash wallets and additional savings, cause I do do auto savings through my job, called, came to a total of $1,823.49. Um, $1 yep, that's what it came to. Okay, so since this is the amount that I have left over, like I said, I have the decision, I have the decision of do I use this money? Do I use this money to pay off debt, which I could get to minimum i would probably prefer to get two maybe even three of them paid off like i could easily pay off uh what i could easily pay off easily pay off uh tjx amazon and um Yeah, TJ Jets and Amazon, I could easily pay those two off. And also the second chase, I could pay off also. So it's just a question of which ones I want to do. And chances are I will bring an update video on that <laughs> with you guys later on. Because I, j I just want to make absolutely sure that I'm doing it the right way, if that makes sense. And I just want to really, really and truly think long and hard before I do something that's just like, okay, you did that and you charged this card right back up. So... And crazy thing is, I paid off these cards with my uh, federal income tax money so that I could be prepared for the move because I did not want to have these when I moved. So chances are what I am going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and pay these off with this extra money. But I will give you guys that update later on. And your chances are you'll probably see it next month when I do my budget because it won't, won't no, will no longer be on my, on my budget, if that makes sense. <laughs> Okay, but that is it, guys. That is all. I will be coming to you guys with a mid-year review to see how I did in the first half of this year. <clears throat> We're going to keep on track with that and keep track of ourselves going forward monthly and quarterly. Um, I will go ahead and share share my goals for the rest of the year. No, actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to come back with that in another video because I think this video is taking just a little bit too long, but I will come back with that mid-year check-in and I'm going to go over my goals for the, what I want for the remainder of the year financially. Okay. If it has anything to do with money, I'm going to keep you guys informed on that. Okay. All right. But that is it. That is y'all. Hey, look, that is y'all. That is it y'all. <laughs> I thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to stay blessed, stay beautiful. Remember to keep budgeting and saving. Bye.